Let's go ahead and use our 19 millimeter socket. We're gonna go ahead and remove the lug nuts. Go ahead and grab your hubcap if you have one equipped. Set that aside. You wanna go ahead and grab the wheel, remove that and set that aside. So we want to go ahead and remove the brake drum itself. Now our brake drum is a little bit loose, but it's still stuck on the backside on the brake shoes. We're going to use these bolts here. You actually thread these into the drum itself. And we're going to do this in both of these here. And what we're going to do is we're going to tighten these down. And as they tighten in, they go up against the backside hub face and it pushes the brake drum out. Let's see this in action. When we removed our brake drum, it is coated in all kinds of brake dust. You don't want to breathe this stuff in. What we're going to do is we're going to put some pads or a drip pan underneath. We're going to use some solvent. We're going to soak this down and clean off all of the brake dust. You don't want to breathe any of this in, so go ahead and put a mask on or cover up your mouth and nose and give it a spray. On the forward side of the brake shoe, we have a yellow spring here that is used for the adjuster on the brakes. We're we'll going to grab a pair of pliers and we're going to remove the spring. Remember the orientation of this. We're going to remove our brake shoe retaining tabs here. There's a post that goes through the front and goes through the back side and is locked in place. Push in. Rotate, release, and pull the pin through the back side of the backing plate. On the bottom, there is a spring attaching both brake shoes at the bottom. Just going to use our pliers and go ahead and take that spring off. Now you can go ahead and grab the forward spring. I'm going to work this out. We have an adjuster on the back side. Pull this out. Work our adjuster out. And then we can just rotate the shoe forward and over go ahead and undo our spring. Remember the orientation of the spring and it goes into this little notch on the top part of the shoe. And the spring main part is on the left side and the longer part of the spring is forward. Using your pliers, go ahead and release the locking spring tab here. Same as the one we previously removed. Push in and twist. Pull the pin out from the back. So when you bring your shoe down and you spin it around, we have our e-brake cable bracket assembly. You need to remove this. On the back side, there should be a little lock ring on here. And use some pliers and pinch these tabs here. And what this is doing is expanding the little lock ring that is on here. And just keep on doing this until we can get inside here and pry that ring off. Looks like a little horseshoe when you pop it off. And once that is released, you can now separate the brake cable bracket from the shoe itself. 
On our brake backing plate, there are six contact points of where our brake shoes come in contact with. We're gonna go ahead and clean those. Now's a good time to inspect the backing plate. If it is severely rotted or rusted, you do wanna go ahead and replace it at this point because it is technically a structural component. Ours looks pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and apply a small amount of grease to these contact points. So we have our rear mounted shoe here and we have our post here that our e-brake attachment was attached to. I want to go ahead and pull this off. I had a little washer on the back side of it. So you're going to take your new shoe, push this through. Once that's through, I'm going to install the washer. Gonna take the mount unit, slide that through. And take your new horseshoe, line that up. Should fit right onto there. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna position this so that we can use our pliers and pinch that and lock that into place. Once you pinch that, you should close up the horseshoe so that locks in. We're gonna get this lined up and we're gonna put our pin through the back side and put our lock tab on to hold the shoe. I'm gonna put our pin through the back side. I like to have that slot or the post vertically facing up and down. go make sure that the tab itself goes across left to right horizontally now we have our adjustery right here and you want to go ahead and take this apart ours is coming apart fairly easy if yours is a little bit rusty go ahead and pull that apart you're going to go ahead and clean these up this section here threads out And when you're doing this here, you want to check for any resistance or any issues of rust buildup inside here. Take a wire brush, go ahead and clean the threads. You can also go ahead and spray it down with some solvent. Once we're done doing this here. Clean it up the best you can. You want to go ahead and inspect this part as well. Check inside for the threads, see if there's anything funky in there, any rust buildup. If you do, you want to go ahead and use um, a metal brush or something to get in there, clean that up. The outside looks pretty good. You can do the same in here, inspect in there. Ours is pretty clean. If you want, give it a shot of some solvent to clean out anything that might be in there. Now let's go ahead and reassemble this here. You can take this unit and you have your threaded unit with the adjuster. A little bit of anti seize compound on those threads. Let's go ahead and thread that in. We're going to run that in all the way. I 
on this end here. I'm going to actually put a little bit of grease on the end and slip that together like so. I'm going to take our lower spring here, put that in there, hook that up in there. I'm going to bring the lower shoe up and into position here. I'm going to go ahead and put our post and our lock tab right here. Once you get that lined up, go ahead and set that lock tab so it is vertical up and down. I'm going to take our adjuster here. I'm going to slide this in, put it onto the rear shoe. What you're going to do is you're going to open and shift the brake shoes a little bit to get your adjuster into place. Once we get that into place, we're now going to take our adjuster tab here and get this mounted. So this post right here goes into this hole right here in the shoe. And then this back tab, or this upper tab, goes in behind the adjuster. So it's actually going to lock it into place. I'm going to install our upper spring. Once we get that spring set in there, go ahead and tap this into place. Let's go ahead and install our spring here. It goes on the top side of the adjuster right there. And grab our pliers, and this needs to get stretched into that hole in the shoe right here. Go ahead and install your brake drum. Now what we're doing is we're testing for the fit of the shoes that we just installed and we have some excess wobble here and what's actually we're doing is we're testing to check the fit between the shoes and the drum itself. So we had some excess wobble back and forth, we want to tighten it up. In order to do so, we need to reach down inside here, adjust our adjuster to bring the brake shoes outward to get a tighter fit inside the drum. Now you want to do this a little bit at a time. And then once you have a few turns on that, go ahead and break, grab your brake drum and do another test fit. We can probably come out just a little bit more. a lot better. Once you have that tension on there, go ahead and slide your drum in. You're good there. I'm going to pop it off one last time. We're going to apply some anti-seize compound around the hub flange in the face of the hub. Grab that brake drum. Go ahead and get it installed for its final shot. Go ahead and install your wheel. Line this up. I'm going to get all four of these started by hand, and then we'll go ahead and snug them down. Torque the wheels down to 80 foot-pounds. 